let's stick on the wireless motion trackers. To power on the motion trackers, press the button and wait for the light to start blinking. In this training video, we place the motion trackers on top of the straps to demonstrate the correct position. However, you should always place them underneath the straps to get the best results. Insert the motion tracker into the headband and place it on the head. Place the sternum motion tracker and make sure you cover it with the fabric. Place the motion tracker on the flat surface of the upper arm. The lower arm motion tracker needs to be placed on top, just above the wrist. Place the hand motion tracker in the glove and put it on. Repeat the same process for the opposite arm. Both shoulder motion trackers can be placed. The pelvis tracker needs to be placed on top of the sacrum. The upper leg motion tracker needs to be placed on the flat surface well above the knee. The lower leg motion tracker needs to be placed on top of the flat surface of the shin bone. Unlace the shoe and place the shoe pad with motion tracker deep under the shoe tongue. Make sure the laces prevent the motion tracker from shifting within the shoe. Repeat the same process for the opposite leg. Next step is to connect the Awinda station to the computer. For this we need the Awinda station and the USB cable. Connect the USB cable to the Awinda station. The power adapter is only needed for charging the motion trackers. Connect the end of the USB cable to the computer with Ambient Studio installed. So now we're ready setting up the hardware. Now it is time to do the software part. With the system live, we can start to perform a calibration. I first hit calibrate. Before I start the calibration, I need to make sure that the person has his feet parallel pointing forwards and is standing in an upright neutral position, making sure that both arms and legs are in a straight line down. Now I can start the calibration. During calibration, make sure the person holds the end pose for about 4 seconds, then walk forwards and backwards in a normal fashion. After the processing of the calibration is done, make sure that the person is standing in the x-axis you want to define. Once you know for sure that the person is standing in that direction, you hit apply and you can start doing your recordings.